Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is day, I don't even know of the quarantine. Uh, <laughs> so I'm um, trying to figure out what new content to make and you know what? I figured I might as well do some uh, stocks that is typically great in times of a recession, in times of a declining market, in times of economic uh, uncertainty, right? And today I got you four stocks that is most unlikely to cut their dividend during a time of recession or economic uncertainty. And uh, I'll go over why and what's going on with these four stocks today. And when it comes to good or bad, mostly bad, you hear um, at least bad times in the market, you hear, you hear a lot of people hollering about uh, <clears throat> diversification. You hear a lot of people hollering about diversification and what I have for you here is four sectors, four, uh, four stocks from each a different sector in the stock market. And this is definitely diversification at its finest. I was gonna do a couple more, but I decided to focus on just these four stocks and these four sectors. And I do own three of these, but the other one I'm hoping to purchase real, real soon. So real quick, before we get into this, See this book here that just popped up? It's a free ebook that I wrote. If you guys want this free ebook, go to my Instagram, DM me, let me know you want it. I need your email address, or you could just drop me an email below and I'll send it to you for free whenever it is available, which should be within the next few days. Actually, by the time I put this video out, it should be available to all. So our first recession-proof dividend stock is AT&T, ticker symbol T. It is in the telecommunications sector of uh, the industry. And uh, the dividend yield for it is 7.23%. Now this does seem very high. It actually is very high for um, a dividend stock. It almost seems like it'd be a dividend trap, but I assure you that the way this company is set up and the way it moves things around in times of uncertainty, they are definitely focused on not cutting their dividend or uh, dismissing it at all. So we're gonna go over some of the statistics and I may bring you through Yahoo Finance and all that to show you guys. So so first of all, the annualized payout is $2.08. So for every one share you own this, you'll get $2.08 a share, which is something like 52 cents uh, per payout or whatever. The payout ratio is 59.08%. Now we know anything below uh, 80%, between 80 and 50% are pretty solid. That's an area you really wanna get into when it comes to dividend stocks. Now this is a quarterly paying dividend stock. Um, the dividend growth, one of the, the great things about at and is the dividend growth here is uh, 35 years. So they've been paying a dividend consecutively and growing consecutively for 35 years which is great. That makes him a dividend aristocrat. That <laughs> aristocrat makes him a dividend aristocrat, um, and they are definitely trying to get that dividend king uh, name. The dividend growth for the past three years is two percent, and the dividend growth for the past one year for AT and T is one point nine six percent. But they are growing consecutively. This might not be the highest growth rate. But uh, AT&T is still a monster and a giant out there and it is a defensive stock if you wanna get into it as far as the dividend yield, dividend income. Another good thing about AT&T is they just announced that they've stopped their share bear, they, uh, they stopped their buy, their share buyback program um, to have, to pretty much make sure that they're still able to pay their uh, dividends. So they, they stop kind of spending the extra money that they have on hand to buy shares back. Uh, and they're focusing on making sure that they can make that payment every three months. Now I do own 6.05 shares at an average cost at $36.29. I'm down 24% and I do plan on adding a uh, more to this uh, here stock over the next few months. Um, actually, I'm trying to hit a big lump sum to drop my worth down as close to the average price it is now. As you can see, over the past year, well, let's say the past three months is down 29%. And boy, oh boy, if I can get to $29, $28 um, per share for my average cost, I will be a happy camper. 
As you can see the 52 weight low is $26. It's still a good time to buy this bad boy here though. Now next we have, now for our next recession proof stock, we have O Realty Income, ticker symbol O. So Realty Income, it's in the real estate sector. It's a REIT and it is a crowd favorite amongst uh, dividend investors, especially monthly people who are looking for that monthly income. The yield on this bad boy is 6.13%. If you guys wonder why I keep looking down and focusing down, it's because I have all this written out. I love to write it out. I don't like to type it out. I'm an old school guy when it comes to doing things. So with a dividend yield of 6.13%, the annualized payout is $2.80 a year. So it's pretty fair, um, you know, on the higher side when it comes to a dividend uh, performing stock, you know, a performing dividend stock. But for a REIT, um, I've seen REITs super, super high. But uh, this one here is is the, amongst the safer REITs, not only because of, you know, it's been around for so long, but I'll get to that in a minute. Now we have uh, a payout ratio of 182.54%. Okay, I know the payout ratio sounds a little alarming, but um, when it comes to REITs, you see they have to pay 90% of their income. Uh, and this is obviously over 90% of their income, but they have been growing and growing consecutively and they have been pushing out a lot of money. And I, I definitely think this is a more sustainable stock when it comes to REITs. So the dividend growth is 24 years and they are one year shy of being a dividend aristocrat and I'm telling you they want to get that dividend aristocrat badge of honor and this is definitely what they're going to try to do. So the annualized growth for the last three years is 2 point, I'm sorry, 3.29% and the last one year is 2.91%. So almost 3% for the last year and a little over 3% for the last three years. Now, one of the reasons why this is a safer REIT and a safer um, play when it comes to a uh, recession area, you know, a recession or economic decline is because they are deferred. <laughs> uh, this real estate investment trust um, is diversified in 49 different industries amongst real estate. So, you know, not only are they in um, warehouses, but they're in hotels, you know, they have big time clients such as Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, uh, all kind of areas. So that's why if one area is doing bad, they have other areas to fall back on. That's why I say this is really one of the better REITs to get into, especially around this time. And let's see right now only on 1.42%. My dividend, I have a dividend coming up of 29 cents. Okay. My average cost is $64.67. I'm down 32%. But as you can see here, past three months, I'm down, it's down 40%. And it was shot up around $82. So it's definitely, it's definitely at a good cost to buy right now, especially if you go over the balance sheets and the budgets and all that. Um, they're definitely a stronger company when it comes to the real estate sector. Now, next, we have Warren Buffett's favorite, Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. And this is in the consumer staples area of the industry. Now, the yield on this bad boy is 3.74%. With an annual 3.74% with an annualized payout of $1.64 a year. Payout ratio is 78.60%. Now, that's in the fair game range when it comes to annualized payout. This is a lot safer than let's say, you know, realty income would be but realty income is amongst the safest amongst real estate. Uh, one of the best things about Coca-Cola is its dividend payout is 57 years. It is a dividend king. This is one of the reasons why um, a lot of people are drawn to Coca-Cola because it's almost guaranteed to pay your uh, dividends. It does things, it, it really attracts. This dividend is what attracts people to the stock itself. Although it does have a little room to grow, it's not necessarily a growth stock, but more of a value style stock, where Pepsi would be kind of a growth stock. You know, it still has room to grow um, in certain areas, especially with its, its you know, new bubbly. They're trying to build that into a multi-billion dollar brand in itself. But uh, definitely Coca-Cola is one of my favorite stocks when it comes to a defensive style, you know, recession-proof portfolio. People are always gonna drink Coke. 
people get addicted to sugar. You know, unfortunately, it's, it sucks to say like that, but there's a reason why a Warren Buffett loves the stock so much. And I definitely think if you guys haven't looked into Coca-Cola, you should do a little research yourself and figure out if it is a right fit for you, especially in these economic times. Now, its annualized growth for the last three years is 3.48%, which is pretty good. And the last year is 2.5%. So it is growing. Can say, you know, it's, it's growing rather, it's growing rather slowly, just like other names on our list. But it's okay as long as it's growing at a consecutive rate and it is catching speed as it's growing, guys. And, you know, we are looking for that um, long term dividend gain. So that's why we have a dividend aristocrat, dividend, and a dividend king on this list so far. And O is one year under dividend aristocrat, and I'm sure that's what they aim for. Now, when it comes to Coca-Cola, I own 9.06 shares with an average price of $50.91. And over the past three months, it fell 19%. Now, um, it's 52 week high is 60 bucks, but, uh, but it's 52 week low is 36, 20, 27. Um, I'm definitely trying to drop my average below, you know, 50, trying to get it as close to the low. Well, everyone, you know, trying to get as low as I can. I'm down $64, which is roughly 13.93%. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next name on our list, which is a big old Johnson and Johnson, J and J, ticker symbol J and J. And it, it is in the healthcare sector with a dividend yield of 2.83%. This is one of the safest stocks in the industry to own, especially during a recession. Um, because they are very, very financially mature and fiscally responsible when it comes to what they do and what they, they, you know, how they work their money. They definitely try to pay their debts off. They definitely try to keep cash on hand. They are really focused when it comes to keeping that dividend alive and keeping that thrive, you know, that company thriving. So its annualized payout is $3.80 a year. And the payout ratio is 66.61%, which is falling again in that sweet spot that we are looking for. And guys, just like Coca-Cola, the dividend growth on this bad boy is 57 years. So it is a dividend king. Now, when you pair Coca-Cola in this one, that is almost guaranteed to keep you having dividends coming through, especially during a recession or economic hardship for most of the market out there. Growth for the last three years is 4.6%. This growth for the last year is 1.33%. This is a healthy, reliable dividend stock, and it, it has a healthy dividend, um, healthy dividend yield, healthy annualized payout, healthy dividend growth. It's just a healthy ratio. This is one of the best stocks you can get into. And, and actually, let's see where it's at right now. So it fell $10 in the past three months. It's got a 52 week high of $154.50, 52-week low of $109.16. Boy, I wish I would have bought it at $109. I wish it was on my radar then, which it was, but I really wasn't focused on doing any type of defensive style stocks. But um I may be pushing my portfolio as of now more toward a defensive and blue chip and a less speculative style stocks, which I don't have many in my portfolio, but we all know, hey, sometimes we don't make the best decisions and it takes a little bit of fear boiling around in order for us to focus our vision and our lenses. But yeah, guys, these are the four stocks that I believe are recession proof and I will be adding more money into. You don't have to listen to me. Matter of fact, don't listen to what I say. Don't take this as advice because it's not advice. It's only entertainment because I'm just some guy on YouTube and I am not a uh, financial specialist. I didn't go to college for none of this. I'm just a guy who learned how to do this through books and watching YouTube, of course. And uh, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much. Look, also, if you want a free, if you want to be able to view my uh, portfolio spreadsheet absolutely free go to the go to the link in the description and you'll be able to view it absolutely free also guys if you want to if you want a free stock for joining robin hood go ahead and click the link in the bio and use that link to sign up you'll get a free stock and i'll get a free stock also we bull when you sign up using the link in the description, you will get a free stock. And when you deposit hundred dollars, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. It's not that hard to want to get ahead. So go ahead and use any of the links in the description when it comes to brokerages and you'll get a leg up and I'll get a little kickback from it as well. But look guys, if you want that free ebook, go ahead and drop me your email address in the comments. Once again, guys, thank you so much. Let's hit 500 before the end of April. We're almost there already. 
Um, so guys, y'all stay safe out there. Y'all don't lose your mind during this quarantine. All right, y'all, y'all have a great day.